I'm like super excited about this bookmark. You have no idea. Oh, Christopher, why you gotta make me cry on video? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be opening up something that came in the mail that I've been waiting for for quite a while. Now if you didn't see my last Moosh Moosh video, then you might not know that some friends in the States were trying to get a hold of some of the new series for me so that I could check them out here since I don't have the ability to purchase them here in Canada, which I still find really really lame because we need cute things too, Moosh Moosh. So anyways, that's the plan for today. I know that there is Moosh in this box, but I'm also told that there is another surprise. I've been waiting to open this box for a few days, but of course it did get shipped to me during a pandemic, so caution is key. We got the box, we left it alone untouched for a few days, I'm going to slice it open, wipe everything down that I have the ability to with Lysol wipes, and then take care of myself by washing my hands and using sanitizer after. Stay alert, stay safe. I don't know why I'm doing it with fingers. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> onto the package. Where is it? Here it is. It's such an unassuming box, however, considering it's supposed to have moosh moosh inside, it is quite heavy. It came all the way from New Hampshire. It's apparently for pounds and I have scissors. Okay, that was very unsatisfying. Hold on. Here's my box. It came all the way from New Hampshire. It's apparently four pounds and I have scissors. That was better. Just ignore me. <laughs> Ooh. You know, for somebody who opens things for a living, or at least a half a living, I don't know. I'm not really good at it. <laughs> Unless I take extreme care with my scalpel. Quick warning, I have been prepped through messages for a few days now that I should be really excited about what's in this box and that the family who sent it is very excited for me to open it. So it's kind of creating this like bubbly pressure and I'm super nervous. I don't know why, I open things all the time, but this is like super meaningful to me. So if I am really weird, well, that's why. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. Flaps. Oh, almost dropped it. Oh, <gasps> guys, that is too much stuff. I'm gonna cry. I kind of put on okay-ish makeup today. I humaned for like the first time in a week and I'm gonna be so sad. I need a minute. I don't even know what my voice just did. I am back. And here, ooh. Oh, I just ruined my nail polish. It was nice, guys. Okay, it was Midnight Spark, if you must know. Here is the inside of the box, and first of all, I just need you to know that they sent me Melody the Bee, which is absolutely wonderful and not a surprise because I knew it was coming, but I am absolutely excited as heck. They found this to send to me knowing how badly I wanted her and not being able to find it in Canada, but I didn't know that the company was gonna send it to me, so. There's a whole story. It's it's in the last Moosh Moosh video. The point is, now I have two, and this one means more to me because it was from friends and sent with love. It's a bag inside a bag! So this one comes sealed from the factory, but that does not mean it's any safer. So once again, still will be washing my hands and using sanitizer and all that great stuff after. Okay. Here's Melody. Fluff her up. So squishy. I'm just giving it a once over to make sure it's all great. Not that I'd be picky if it wasn't because it is after all a gift. However, it is still a good idea to check out your items because if it's coming from a factory, you don't get a say in the one you get. Whereas if you were to go to a store, you can sit there and <laughs> look very strange as you pick out the most perfect of the embroidered items, like somebody. <laughs> but I'm happy to report that Melody the Bee looks absolutely fantastic. Bzz. Actually, hold on, where's her twin? And here they are together, the perfect little Buzzworthy family but I'm gonna keep this one separate. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my gosh, oh, no way. Okay, next up I have some bright yellow socks and they're covered in beets. Listen, I'm gonna put these on right now. I'm not even joking, I'm just gonna put them on top of my other socks though because I haven't washed them yet. But they're gonna be so awesome. <laughs> Guys, there's bees all over. My room is gonna turn into bees. Get rid of this background, just put yellow and hives everywhere. <laughs> I'm not flexible. Hello? Why am I using it like a phone? I don't know. Hey, what's the buzz? Bzzz. <laughs> they are so cute. When I originally opened the box, I thought there was a giraffe in there. <laughs> but this makes so much more sense. I'm not gonna lie to you, there's a lot more stuff in here on top, but I'm gonna stick my hand in all the way to the bottom because I can see that there's a letter there. And I feel like it's kind of rude to just sit here and open presents and not be able to thank the person who sent them. Because at this point I could have been like, thanks blank for the bee, thanks blank for the socks. But I gotta make sure that there is a verbal permission in there giving me verbal permission or written, that's the one, giving written permission for me to say their names. So let's do that. And here it is. It says Jen on the front. 
Her writing looks like my writing. Jen, so happy that I was able to get these to you. Your videos bring so much joy and happiness to Christopher and I, so I was more than happy to help bring a little happiness to you. The extras included in the box were all chosen by Christopher, with the exception of one item wrapped in blue tissue paper, which I commissioned from an artist in Washington State. Look forward to more videos as well as more late night conversations. From Christina. This is so sweet. You didn't have to do extra stuff. Okay, there's also a second letter. It says, Dear Jen, my mom and I watch your videos all the time. I really hope you enjoy this. It's taken a bit to get all of the items together, so I hope this gets to you okay. I look forward to watching more of your videos. Love, Chris. Oh my gosh, this is the sweetest thing ever. Guys, I'm legit gonna cry. And it's sent on Lego paper. <laughs> they are tears of joy. I honestly, I just, ugh, words. They are overwhelming my brain. I'm happy, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, back to the box, because I'm just gonna sit here and stumble on more words. What's next? Oh, we have pink tissue paper. Oh, <gasps> no! Christopher, no! Okay, Christopher makes resin art and sells them on Etsy, I'm pretty sure it was. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, my brain is kind of all over the place right now. But I knew he was making some autism bookmarks, and I was so excited because I was gonna buy one, but it looks like they sent me one. How cute is that? It's transparent and glittery, and it's glitter that's encased, so it's not gonna get on me, and it's got little colorful puzzle pieces inside and a puzzle piece charm. This makes me so happy. I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. I didn't know it was gonna be so emotional. Okay. I've got myself together. What's next? Okay. Oh, that's a really cool container. My mood changes like that when you give me cool Tupperware and stuff, apparently. I think it's silicone. Wait, is it a sandwich box? I don't know, but it's really cool. How do you open it? <laughs> For real, how do you open it? Oh, it's like a storage thing. Okay, what's in here? Okay, we've got Chris and Chris Creations, goat's milk soap. Dude, wait, you guys make soap? Did I already know that? Am I just forgetting? Do I sound like a bad person right now? This is so sweet. What's this one? Oh, that's so pretty. It's a light brown flower. And this one is a white cream colored flower. And now the smell that I was smelling earlier makes sense. Okay, for some reason, this is reminding me of when I was a kid, the little baskets you would decorate for some reason and put on the back of your toilet. Chances are a lot of you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but we used to have little baskets that had fake grass in it with those little pearl balls that you would put in the bath and then they'd melt and turn into a slippery death trap. But you'd also have little seashells and flowers made out of soap and stuff and people put those in the baskets on the back of their toilets. And I feel like these are really big versions of something like that. So I want to make a little basket and put these in it. I feel like that would look really cute. Next up, Oh, no! Okay, first of all, Lint is one of my absolute favorite chocolates. Uh, I also love Kinder because they're delicious, but Lint is so, so good. And I honestly didn't even know that they had bugs and bees. Should I eat these or should I keep them forever? I don't know. Can they last an apocalypse? Ugh. It does not list preservatives as an ingredient, so I don't think that's gonna work out for me. But I will mention that no bees or ladybugs were harmed in the making of this product. I might have to eat them but I'm gonna do so delicately and then put the foil around some rocks so that I could keep it anyways. Flowers, bees, moosh. Oh my. <laughs> oh, speaking of moosh, we have another. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Oh. Guess who it is. Ready? Oh, so, so fluffy. It's a squared moosh. Oh, it's a moosh squared. This is one of the new ones that I can't get in Canada. This is Stella. She is a white moosh squared lion with rainbow stars and a rainbow mane. And I'm gonna quickly check the stitching. So, so cute. And the embroidery looks awesome. Oh my goodness. Stella! <laughs> and moving on. Next we have the blue tissue paper wrapped surprise. Oh, oh, oh my heart, my heart hurts. Oh my gosh, it's a little crocheted bee. This is so cute. Dang it. It's been a very emotional day, guys, okay? This is so sweet. Buzz. Do not take this for, okay, it is sadness. Don't take it as sadness. Take it as I can't believe people tried to make me happy. Happy. <laughs> Okay, so I have calmed myself and centered my being, which is an accidental wonderful pun, might I add. And now I'm gonna move on to the last two items in the box, which includes a coloring kit. Ooh, this is so cute. Oh, it's got nice teal too. Wait, that doesn't look like regular paper. That looks like a nice thick what kind of paper is that. 
It looks a bit like a canvas paper. Why am I so focused on what kind of paper it is? Dude, why can't I open it? Who doesn't want you to be able to open the package? If you were a company, you'd think you'd want your item to be openable. Okay, so we've got some arrows. I love coloring, by the way. There's a cute little coffee cup with some beans on the front. That is so my life. I don't even think you guys can see this. Okay, even if you can't, just be excited with me. There's a really pretty feather here, an acoustic guitar, a camera. There is a doe, or is it a stag? Could be a reindeer for all I know. A pair of sunglasses, so cool. And I don't know what that one is. I think that one's just something pretty. And it might not really matter, because as mentioned, you might not be able to see it. But either way, this is a really thoughtful gift because I love coloring and it's a great way to calm yourself, especially if you are getting a little antsy about being indoors for far too long. Long, which I think we all are at this point. So if you haven't tried coloring, I suggest giving it a try. You don't necessarily need coloring books or even little kits. You can just scribble. Oh my gosh, scribble art. Does anybody else remember that? Going into like paint in school or at home. Hey, I don't judge wherever you painted, it's all you. And using the pen tool or whatever it is to just make a bunch of scribbles and then just filling it in different colors in all of them and then feeling like you're some kind of artist, like you did something wonderful. I like to do that one a lot. <laughs> If you've never tried that, you should and relive the 90s or the 2000s or whenever it is you did it. Either way, I'm really excited. And to be honest, I'm probably gonna color in the coffee cup first. So if you wanna see what any of these look like after I'm done coloring them, make sure you check out my Instagram because I'll post pictures there. What kind of paper is it though? I don't know, it's so weird. It's like thick like cardstock, but it feels like pressed recycled paper, but it's not mentioned on the package. And you think you would wanna share that info if you were recycling, because a lot of people like to buy green products. I'm just, yep, spending way too much time on the paper. I get it, but it's still valid, okay? It's still valid. And now we move on to the last surprise, which is a scruffle of baby. Oh, I hope I don't have to use water right now because that's not gonna happen. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Do we even have these here yet? It's hard to tell. I haven't been to the store in two months, but I haven't seen them, so maybe not. Even online. I don't know. It looks like a similar concept to the regular size scruffle loves in the sense that you get a scruffy ball of fluff and wash it, blow dry it, and make it a fluffy cute little pet. But I don't have water prepared and I don't have the desire to do any type of water and blow dry right now. So I'm gonna open this on my own time because I'm pretty excited to see what it's like and I'll post pictures to Instagram once again to show you what the end result was. However, I will tell you, just in case you haven't seen this, if you were to get one of these, don't know the price because I I didn't buy it. You would get this little carrying case with a heart clip, a comb, a pacifier, and your mystery scruff in there. And apparently there are 21 different animals that you can rescue and nine different species. You know what? I changed my mind. I'll open it to see what color the fluff ball is, but I'm not doing the water part. So you will still have to check out Instagram if you want to see. If you pull off the front, it shows you how to do it. Be careful when you take this off because inside is your adoption certificate as well as the info on the different characters. And I can tell you right now, something in mine is pink. So let's see what it is. You have to pull the heart. Jen, pull the heart and it will pop it. Oh, it did. Oh, that's cute. The comb is stuck on the inside and you pop it out. It's a little teal comb, but it's tray tray cute. Okay, here is my scruff. It's also apparently a keychain. Technically, you already know what it looks like. It's not squished up into a ball. It just feels like a hard gluey mess and it's got a pacifier in its mouth. It is stitched there. You'll have to cut a few little strings and then viola, your uh, pacifier is free. Just so you know, I know how to say voila. I watched a show or a movie a long time ago and they said viola and I thought it was funny and now I can't remember the name of the movie, but it is a real reference. And if you know the name of the movie, feel free to let me know down below. That way, when I'm in the comments trying to defend myself. I can give the reference to the people and then they can see it themselves. But anyways, it looks like we got a puppy from the Rainbow Meadows collection and it needs a little bath to get rid of all this glue. And in the end, we're gonna have a fluffy, less gluey pink puppy. I'm gonna quickly clean this up because I just dropped something, wash my hands, sanitize, and be right back. Okay hey guys, that is it for today's video. I am so excited that I was able to share it with you. I definitely didn't know that there was gonna be so much stuff in there and also didn't know that I was gonna cry, but hey, here we are. I still can't wrap my head around the fact that people go out of their way to make me happy because it's not necessary. Just talking to you guys is more than enough, but it definitely did bring a lot of smiles to my face and I can't wait to wash and wear those socks, color some pictures and cuddle some new moosh and also eat chocolates and of course wash a scruff. And to be honest, I really do think I'm gonna make one of those old bathroom baskets because for some reason it hit me right in the nostalgia. That sounds like a disease. 
But realistically, if you think about it, nostalgia is a disease. It gets you. I'm on a nostalgia kick right now, if you haven't noticed. Okay, I'm kind of rambling, and that means it's a sign to go. So, Christina and Christopher, thank you guys so much for taking the time to make my day, to make me smile, and it means so much more to me that I'm able to keep you guys company through your television or computer or tablet or whatever and make you guys smile. In fact, it means so much to me to be able to do that to everybody. And with that, I think we're done. So, if you know somebody who would enjoy today's video because they like random packages being opened for their entertainment, then please share it with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below what you liked or didn't like about today's video, although not gonna lie, I don't know what you got against smiles if you do dislike it, I'm just saying. And if you remember those little bath pearls that you would melt in the tub, was it for oil or bubbles? I don't even remember, but I do wanna know how many other people have slipped and fallen because of them, <laughs> because it happened to me a lot. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.